Welcome everybody to Coach Bowden's weekly press conference. This week, the Zips have their home opener with Morgan State on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Kickoff is on ESPN+. Plus. Coach, would you like to start with an opening statement? Yes, uh, um, obviously we are um, getting ready for Morgan State, but at the same time, we, we were our players were very disappointed. They did not, were not able to play Nebraska uh, on Saturday, as everyone knows, the, the cancellation due to the inclement weather. I do want to say, um, at least uh, speak for the players, that the players very much wanted to play that game. It's, we all did. We've been there before. We wanted to play that game. Unfortunately, every, we made every possible effort to find reasonable, appropriate accommodations, and there were none. And it, and it just it wasn't possible. And, uh, and so we, we, we made the decision, Larry and I, that, that, that the players, uh, against their want wishes, uh, that it was best not to try to fit that into a tight schedule and uh, uh, with rain expected and thunderstorms expected again the next day. And so that being said, and uh, we will uh, get ready for Morgan State and, uh, um, and our home opener and look forward to uh, – players are hungry. The, the one thing – they I don't think I've ever gone to eight, September 8th without playing a football game in my career. And these players – preseason's long enough, but you throw preseason and then add a week before they get to hit somebody else. And they're really anxious to play a football game, I know that. And so we'll go against Morgan State at home and, and uh, uh, hope we have good weather. Anything? Anybody got any questions? How frustrating was it to sit in that locker room after the game? I know you're in there for quite a while. It, it, it is frustrating. Um, and you're not just sitting there for the, from the time you leave the field. You, you you sit there for two hours pre pre kickoff. You're in there for two hours waiting because you get there two hours before kickoff. You get dressed and taped an hour before you go work out. We went to work out. We were t we were we were asked to come off the field because of lightning during our pregame warm up. So there's a delay there. So we're waiting longer. And then finally, I think 17 20 minutes late, the game starts. You get one kickoff in, and they call it again. Uh, now you're in there for three hours more. So you're talking about five hours. So it is frustrating. The players have been through it. You know again. Um, and uh, but uh, it is frustrating because now you're talking about 10 o'clock at night, 9:30. They're hungry. They haven't eaten. I'm not. It sounds like I'm being facetious. We were out of peanut butter sandwiches. That's all we had was peanut butter sandwiches. I think we picked up some cheese sticks and anticipated. And, and we're waiting for the final game to be called that night because we couldn't do anything until the game was officially called that night. And so we. Uh, uh, those are those are those are frustrating the players. And uh, like I said, they. I can't. They, they, they're, they, they, they get upset when they couldn't play that football game. And we, we, you know, we play, we play a big team like that every year. It's not like we don't do that. I've heard ex about extreme cases where they're they were volunteering to sleep on the floor just. There, well, I mean, seriously, the player. Yeah, you know, at some point in time, you got to treat your players like a parent. And our responsibility is not to win football games, or is to it's their health, safety, and welfare of our student athletes. And now when you're talking about, a, and, I, and I don't know all the exact, if you ask Larry, he might, they were talking about putting us into a 10.30 a.m. window. Uh, we're at the stadium at 10 o'clock. We don't have any accommodations. So if we did get one, they wouldn't get there after 1 o'clock, I'm sure. Would make wake up call around 6 o'clock, three or four hours of sleep uh, against a power five football team if we could have done it. Again, we were looking for accommodations the entire time. Uh, and, uh, and the players were, were they were they were mostly angry that they couldn't play that game, and, and sometimes it's you have you have to do what's right for your for your players as your children, whether they like it or not. You know, and I'm, the only reason I'm asking this is because you've worked in television. But from everything I understand, Fox was really pushing hard to get this game in. But going back a few days to when I was talking to people in Nebraska, they knew this weather was coming. Right. I mean, in a case like that, shouldn't a network have a contingency plan where, hey, if, if this is blowing through like this at, the, at, at game time, perhaps we need to consider moving it earlier? You'll, you know good and well you'll need to answer that one yourself. Um, we, we, we did know all day long. We're looking at, we're just wondering when the rain's coming. We, you, you can see it the day before. You can see it all day long. You know there's going to be storms. And, it, and, and our, everybody, our players have phones. We have phones, and it don't just doesn't say rain. It says rain and thunderstorms, and we know it. And it's scheduled nonstop from when it starts. And it, and dead gummit, it was always right around kickoff, seven o'clock till three or four in the morning. So I don't, I don't, those questions are not for us. To, I, I, do, I don't know. I, all I, we have, we are responsible for the health, safety, and welfare of our student athletes. 
and they want to play football. They'll, they'll play anywhere, anytime, any, they'll, they'll play. They, but, but, and again, we worked hard to find accommodations. Uh, we got on the phone to work hard to get accommodations very quickly once we thought there might be a problem and we could not get them. And then you start looking at the, anybody that's coached football or been around football understands the logistics of a hundred person party. Uh, uh, and some people forget what Western Michigan last year, that was a 3.30 game. We knew that we were going to have to find a place to stay by like five o'clock. We didn't even tee this one off till seven. We didn't even know till 9, 30 or 10 what we would be needing. So it's a lot different scenario. Uh, but like I said, our players wanted to play the game and, and we, uh, we're, we, we were prepared. We didn't call that game <laughs> at Akron. We, put, we, we, we were there to kick the ball off, and we were working hard to try to fulfill even a Sunday p possibility, which wasn't possible. Because of all of, the, all of this, mm -hmm. does it change anything going into this week? Does it make them more hyped? What, what's it do to that, them emotionally? That's my opening comments where I think the players are hungry to play football. You know, uh, that, that, to be honest with you, we're, we're, we're watching Morgan State. Now, there is a fact that uh, there's no video to watch of a game with Nebraska. There's a fact that Jerry Freachin was our MVP. You know, he, he, won, he won every award. Our kicker, he, was a, he, won the, uh, he won the offense, defense, and kicking award. Because <laughs> he kicked, it out, kicked the ball out of here. He actually kicked. We gave him the award for kicking the ball 18 yards further than he's ever kicked it in practice one time. And he kicked it. And, uh, and he got the award for running seven yards down the field before he stopped running after he kicked it but we were we were trying to cap some levity a little fun there with it but he uh, uh it was uh but the players like i said when i got they are excited about playing a football game they're ready to play football and uh um and we're getting ready for morgan state and look forward to have a great a great crowd uh uh out for that game what time is the game kick i'm sorry i did my three to you at three to a great time to, to for football and it'd be a great uh, great time for our fans to to catch us and start the season How what can you tell us right now about mm -hmm. uh, Morgan State? I know they played Towson mm -hmm. on Saturday right. in the Battle of Baltimore and uh, had the first lead, and then the Tigers took over. How much have you seen of Morgan State? Well, we had all ten films for last year. Yeah. The, the the assistant coach has become the head coach, uh, so we think he's running some. But, but we we have a game, right? Which we, we watch. We're watching their Towson. Towson's their city rival. Right. Towson's won six or seven straight. Towson's been a Playoff contender, a very good one, double yes, team, yes, yes. uh, and they've had the hand. They've had a, a Morgan State's number for a while, but it was seventeen to seven at half. Um, uh, Towson uh, was just better than they, but was a better football team. But, but Morgan State, you know, a lot of people don't realize Morgan State has a great tradition of football. They have four NFL Hall of Famers that went to Morgan State. Uh, that's three more than we have. And uh, uh, they've got they've, their their history. Their story, their program is 120 years old. It goes back, and it's very storied. Uh, uh, and I want to say an, H, an historical H, an HPC uh, that plays in, uh, a lot of the others. Yeah. Yes. And so, they, but they have they have a lot of talent. Uh, and uh, I think North Carolina A&T is in that league. Beat East Carolina last week. Howard took uh, Ohio University to the wire. Uh, it's, the league has a lot of great players. And uh, Morgan's, uh, Morgan, just Morgan State just opened up with a pretty tough opponent. Curtis, yes. Not getting an opportunity to play last week. Uh -huh. What does that do in terms of lack of development for offense, defense, special teams? Not getting to play in a game situation. You just sat for minus a week. Well, you did. Well, you you deduct, you know, three hours of game experience. Some guys that do not play would get to play. And so that's just, but, but I, I don't want to make it any bigger than that. You, you, a lot of times your best improvement in a season is from game one to game two. We're now in game one. Uh, we have a lot of veterans on defense, so they're, they're not lacking in experience. We have some young receivers and some uh, young backs that, that gain experience. Uh, but, that, but obviously it'll be, it, we won't have a game under our belt. But uh, like I said, we got another extra week of work for our first opening game. And so... Um, um, if those are those things. You, there's nothing you can do about that. I don't think it. I think we'll be. Re I know we'll be ready to play. We'll, we'll be excited, I, I, excited to play. And I just know how how bad how how hungry these guys are to play a football game. As a former TV person, and mm -hmm. you're on TV with Joe every week. Every week. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a dumb question. But <laughs> uh, are you, were you aware? You know, are you thinking about the camera being in the locker room before the game, or is that a they pre they pre they ask permission to do that, but yeah. you don't. 
think about it that much. You know, you don't think about it. You just you have things that you want to say to your team, and you don't really see them when they're. I'm not sure where they are when they're when you're doing it. No. So, but I'm not even sure what they used or what I said actually. Um, but but you know, any any time, um, I grew up with my father always agreeing to do anything for the television because he was always building a program. FSU was not very what known and. I don't know if you remember, he was the first guy that ever went into a full game and was wired on the sideline the entire game, as he called every play. Most coaches say so many bad words, you can't do that anyway. But he, but they banned it after that. But he's always, I've always been thought that can help exposure of our pro. Anytime the cameras can be allowed in, they can be allowed to see things they don't normally see. Let's be the team that gives it to them. I think that's our whole conference's philosophy is yeah. what can we do to be more appealing to the networks so that uh, we can promote our program. So, so that was good. You did pretty good last night with uh, Coach Beamer there. It's about the best the Florida State looked was his. Yeah, <laughs> the coin toss was probably the best part of the game. <laughs> it was. For Florida State, anyway. Uh, is there a, um, without divulging too much yeah. injuries, is there anybody that might play this week that couldn't have last week that you can think of? Um, not that they got well, I'm not sure. We, we had a, uh, a couple missed the plane for getting finished some. some uh, issues, uh, academic issues. I think we're getting finally getting fi finalized from summer, that may or may not be finalized. Uh, but no start, no nobody, that, nothing, nobody in injury wise. Everybody, obviously, nobody got hurt. Now, I guess you're asking, is, did somebody get well that was not well last week? Uh, I don't think we that we have anybody that, uh, that that got well that wasn't well last week. Okay. But, I, but and yet, if you'll ask me, I don't, I don't, I don't have top, off the top of my head. Okay. There might be somebody. Coach, this may be kind of a premature question. Mm -hmm. Maybe Larry can answer too. Is there any scenario whatsoever that we would play a 12th game or play Nebraska again, or is that way too early even to think about that? There you. I mean, I, I, we're thinking about it all the time. Yeah, yeah. We're thinking about it all the time. Yeah. We uh, we like you know Nebraska. We're still in conversations with them to uh, to play this game for Week 14. Yeah, we don't want to play it, but we had to. We we would play it if we we want to be in the MAC championship. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, but I'm saying we had, we would probably be available to them if we were not, and they needed the game. Yeah. yeah. So conversations, yes. Okay. I guess the, the follow up to that would be if there's an FCS team that didn't make the playoffs, if and they only play eleven games, if there would be something. You yeah. Remember, that. remember, we would need a waiver for that from the NCAA okay. standpoint. Right. Uh, We've already got one. And, and there's been some. Uh, there's been some precedent for it. Last year there was a hurricane, right? And, mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and there was there was some movement um, in the uh, last week. Uh, Someone before played the Army Navy. Florida State, right? No, it was actually Army Navy weekend they played, I believe. But Florida, yeah. State, Florida State, State did play it. They added a one double A late. Yeah. They played an F FCS. Uh, FCS. Yeah. We'll say yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll, we're with all that. We're working through it. Yeah. Those are kind of the unknowns of the until the end of the season. Like I said. Like I said. Our kids would shoot us if we said we were not thinking about playing for the MAC championship. That's all, yeah, right, and, yeah. and that'll take care of itself. That twelve, that 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 weekend will take care of itself.